Discovering your family's history has never been easier. The Genealogy Center is here to help you get started and understand the plethora of resources that you should take advantage of. And this morning we have Kathy Huber and Carissa Kellerby with us to tell us all about it. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And you decided to stick around for another, another segment. I so did. that works out really well. First off, there is an event this Saturday that if you're going to attend any of them, that's the one you need to do. We're actually kicking off our events on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we're beginning with the beginning genealogy workshop. All right. So uh, this is the one that people need to come to and learn how to get started and, and learn what the resources are at the library and how we can help. And so, yeah, we want people to start at the beginning. So That'd it's kind great. of a roadmap for the rest of that their That is studies. correct. Yeah. Once they come to this, then they'll understand what we're going to have the rest of the, the month. Fantastic. And Carissa, you are teaching something later that starts with a scholarship. Tell us about that scholarship and what you're doing. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get the Richard S. Lackey Scholarship for the National Institute of Genealogical Research, awesome. which is going to be in Washington, D.C. next week. So I'm leaving on Sunday to go to that. And then on July 20th, I'm coming back and I'm doing a program on just what I learned and my experiences while I was there. So, Fantastic. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> You we'll will. see. <laughs> awesome. So you'll come back with a wealth of knowledge to teach a lot of people with. Yes. That's great. All right. And there are a lot of different resources and a lot of different classes. What are some of the other classes that people would be able to take advantage of to figure out their genealogy? Well, we're going to have some classes on free websites that people can use because the Internet, of course, is, is expanding mm -hmm. the resources that are available. So we're going to be doing that. And, and then Chris and I are also going to be talking about some more uh, unusual type things, um, YouTube and mm. podcasts. And you know, so bringing it up to the 21st century. So uh, we've got some of the, you know, the traditional stuff as well as the more more recent. And by traditional, you mean books. We're looking at a couple books, right here. That's correct. Books and um, maps and microfilm and mm -hmm. those, yeah. So yeah. Everything from the beginning all the way to now on social media and how that's affecting. How is social media affecting how you guys map your genealogy? Has it led people to a lot more finds? Ask Carissa. <laughs> Has it helped you out? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's being digitized and being put online, but still books are really where it's at with geneal genealogy research because mm -hmm. a lot of it is just too old to be, you know, digitized without damaging the material, so it's good to go back to the books. But, but, but social media that. is helping because you can connect uh -huh. with a lot of other researchers that you would never have had the opportunity to do. And, you know, there may be people doing research on your family that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one of the things that social media has, has really helped out with. Or if you have a cousin that you didn't know about who's already yep. mapped everything, that's you correct. Done. Just that's find correct. that cousin and go. So you guys are teaching people how to use all these resources, whether it's correct. the books or the internet or social media. That's correct. So many great opportunities, so many great resources. All right, and we'll look forward to you talking about your findings in Washington, D.C. as well. Very neat. All right, thank you guys both.